So in this video, we will discuss the working of the most popularly used memory management function that is malloc. Now malloc stands for memory allocation. If you have to use the memory allocation function, you must include the header file standard library. Now, what does malloc actually do? See, malloc will allocate request size of bytes. That means it will allocate the amount of memory which you want, which you have specified in terms of bytes and it will return a pointer to the first byte of the allocated space. So let's say you have asked for three bytes of memory using malloc. So what malloc will do is it will allocate those three bytes of memory and it will return the address of the first byte. Of the three bytes, it will return the address of the first byte. So if it returns the address, what you need is a pointer to hold that address. So that is what you see in the syntax. In the syntax, you find that, so this is malloc. So malloc byte size. So byte size specifies the amount of memory that you want in terms of bytes. So let's say I want three bytes of memory. So here I'll have to pass in the value three. Now, what is this cast type star? See, malloc by default returns a void pointer. Remember this, malloc will always return a void pointer. It will always return a void pointer. Now, the problem with void pointers is it cannot be dereferenced. Since void pointers cannot be dereferenced, we have to typecast it or we have to change the type of the void pointer to suit our needs. That means if I am planning to allocate memory to store an integer, then the type here, this cast type should be in star. If I'm planning to store a character, then the cast type should be char star and so on. So let's take an example. Let's say I want to allocate five bytes of space for a character. That means I want to store a single character using five bytes of memory space. So what should be the syntax for malloc? So what we'll write is, we will write malloc. So this is how I write it. This is how I write the statement for malloc every time I do it. So the thing is, I want five bytes of space. So what should be the value that I pass here? It should be five. Now what does malloc return? Malloc returns a void pointer. Now I want to store a character. So the type here, so the cast type here should be the same as the type of the pointer. Now, since I want to store a character, my pointer should be of type char. So I should write char star ptr is equal to. Now, since malloc returns a void pointer, I have to type cast it into a pointer of char star, right? And what will this do? Now, because of this statement, what happens in memory is I get, I get a memory block. I get a memory block whose size is five bytes, a memory block whose size is five bytes. So you have one byte, two byte, three byte, four byte and five byte. First, second, third, fourth, you get five bytes. Now every byte will have an address, will have a memory address. So let's say the starting address is 100. So the next address would be 101, then 102, 103 and 104. Now what malloc does is it returns the address of the first byte. This is my first byte. This is my first byte. So malloc will return this address. There are five addresses. Which address will malloc choose? Malloc will choose the first byte address. Why does it choose the first byte address? It chooses the first byte address because if I know the first byte, then I have the starting point of the memory block. And if I have the starting point of the memory block, I can go on to access the further bytes, right? So it will return the address of the first byte. Now, what kind of variables will be able to store addresses? Only pointer variables are able to hold addresses. That's why in the left hand side, on the left hand side of this expression, you find a variable called PTR, which is a pointer to a character. Okay. And why pointer to a character? Because in this memory block, I want to store a character. So since I want to store a character, the pointer that I should be using has to be of char star. And one more thing, remember this cast type, the cast type that you have here, 
this should be the same as the type of the pointer so here the cast type here is car star so the type of the pointer will also have to be car star okay so this is how malloc works i hope this helps leave your doubts in the comment section below i'll get back to you thank you